Although Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1 is one of my favorite movies in the series, it seems it's a divisive film. Maybe it was the camping scenes or that the movie was finished without a resolution, but some people seem to throw a lot of hate at the movie. Sure, you can blame it for the Hollywood breaking movies into two parts trend, but I believe that the movie actually gives us some of the quietest, best moments with the main characters. The scene in particular that stands out to me is probably the most divisive scene in the entire movie. It's the dance that Harry and Hermione share. Yes, that dance. Some fans hated this inclusion, either because it was not in the book originally, or it shows a possible romantic connection between Hermione and Harry. Hell, I even jumped on the same conclusion after my first viewing, but after watching the movie multiple times, it became one of my favorite scenes in the movie and even in all of the Harry Potter films. The scene I'm talking about in Deathly Hallows Part 1 follows Ron storming off from the group. It's worth pointing out why Ron left. The Horcrux was wearing Ron thin, and as he was there watching Harry and Hermione get closer and closer, Ron got concerned about the closeness of his friends. And when Hermione and Harry discluded him from a big discovery, he overreacts and leaves. Harry and Hermione continue on without Ron. The journey is obviously taking a toll on both of them, and they're pretty close to their wit's end. And without Ron, it only becomes more apparent that the whole world is falling apart. We lead into the scene with Hermione sitting in almost a fetal position, and Harry comes in to take the furthest chair from her, visually showing the divide between the characters. She listens to the song on the radio without even making eye contact with Harry. We hear Nick Cave's in the Bad Seeds, O oh Children, playing over the radio. Let me stop there and tell you why this song is a perfect choice for this scene. The song has a hopeful, sad feeling, but more importantly, it's what the lyrics in this song generally point towards. It talks about ethnic cleansing, a world torn apart by an older generation, and corrupt systems. And what's left to piece it back together? But the children. It sounds familiar, doesn't it? The music suggests that there's still hope and joy to be found. We see Harry sitting down with all the problems in the world overtaking him, but then he tunes into Hermione and the pain that his friend is clearly feeling. He heads over and takes her hand. He takes off the Horcrux, which represents the trials they're all going through at this period, and then leads her into a dance. Now this dance, this wonderfully awkward dance is amazing. It feels like something you do in elementary school when you're dancing with your best friend. And that's exactly what it's supposed to be. Harry is trying to be goofy. He sees his friend is in pain and tries to bring her back to the time when things were simpler. Times when they were goofing off at Hogwarts. He chooses the best way he knows how, and pretty much does something he thinks Ron would do. This dance isn't Harry trying to seduce Hermione, or trying to bring up romantic feelings. It's trying to bring a little light into her day. As we hear the song build up and it overtakes the radio, we hear these lyrics. I'm hanging in there, don't you see, in the process of elimination. And then we see Hermione and her smile come back, and we see her happy for the first time in a while. The song goes on to say exactly what Harry and Hermione are feeling in this moment. And as that smile tends to fade, we hear that song fade back into the radio. We hear those same lines muffled through the speaker. And for some reason, it feels like a lie. Hermione's brought back to that world. And she realizes again where she is and without Ron. She looks at Harry and as much as he tries, he can't help her. This scene is one of my favorite inclusions that's not in the book because it lends itself so perfectly to the film. So much is said through the melody and the song choice of O Children. And Harry and Hermione's actions to this song and that slow fleeting moment of happiness along with the song is something that I think words just doesn't do justice to. This isn't a scene of Harry and Hermione sharing a romantic moment. It's a scene about friends trying to remember those easier times. So do you like this scene in Deathly Hallows Part 1? What's your favorite inclusion in the movies that wasn't in the books? As always, thank you so much for watching. Please consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you to my patrons already, Adam Gray, Jeremy Jacobs, Jenny Edwards, Jeremy Robson, Gabe Marchanda, Trevor Cowan, and Gutter Langland. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.